Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safiya Palace today the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee of Pakistan, Zabir Mahmoud Hayat, where he conveyed the greetings of Pakistan's President Mamnoon Hussein and the Prime Minister Mohammad Nawaz Sharif, as well as their wishes for further progress and prosperity for the Kingdom. His Majesty the King welcomed the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and requested him to convey his greetings to the President and the Prime Minister and his wishes for further progress and prosperity for Pakistan. His Majesty affirmed the bilateral deep-rooted relations and praised the progress witnessed in all areas, specifically in the military field. He expressed the Kingdom's keenness to continue to enhance bilateral joint efforts in military cooperation and the exchange of expertise which reflects the brotherly ties between the two countries. He pointed out that these visits contribute to enhancing cooperation and coordination that are beneficial to both countries and their peoples. His Majesty praised the firm stances of Pakistan towards Bahrain and its cooperation with GCC countries in facing threats and challenges, as well as maintaining the security and stability of the region. He also praised the role of the Pakistani community and its contribution to the progress of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The meeting also included discussions regarding regional and international developments and topics of mutual concern. The Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee went on to praise the role of His Majesty the King and his efforts in strengthening bilateral relations, affirming the appreciation of Pakistan and its people for the role of His Majesty. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safiya Palace today the former Minister of Foreign Affairs and Cooperation and the Secretary General of the Asela Cultural Festival of the Kingdom of Morocco, Mohammed bin Isa, who is currently on a visit to Bahrain. His Majesty welcomed the former Minister of Foreign Affairs, hailing the deep rooted and brotherly relations between the two countries and the development they continued to witness in various fields. His Majesty expressed appreciation and pride in the efforts of Morocco's King Mohammed VI and his role in enhancing Bahraini-Moroccan ties, wishing Morocco and its people further development and prosperity. His Majesty also hailed the efforts of Mohammed bin Isa in enhancing cultural cooperation between the two countries and his efforts to achieve the goals of the Isa Award for Service to Humanity through his membership in its nomination committee. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gudabiya Palace today. His Royal Highness directed the restructuring of government bodies to be in line with the next phase of government action through decreasing the number of ministries by merging them together in addition to the decrease of institutions and authorities. These measures come as part of the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa that aim to raise efficiency and productivity across the government sector. His Royal Highness the Premier also stressed the promotion of investment opportunities in the oil industries field in the Kingdom of Bahrain through continuing the efforts of attracting major international companies. He also said Bahrain must remain current with regards to the latest news and challenges in the oil and gas sector. This was reflected in the holding of the 20th Middle East Oil and Gas Show and Conference, MIOS 2017, which was held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and patronised by Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness affirmed the urgency of taking into consideration Islamic principles when dealing with news related to cases and incidents in the media, specifying the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, as well as the Information Affairs Authority, to continue to coordinate their efforts. 
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister went on to extend his thanks to the press, media and columnists for the constructive criticism of issues that concern Bahraini citizens, which supports the government in its pursuit of providing the very best to the people. His Royal Highness urged the ministries and government authorities to be in constant contact with the press and answer all queries raised regarding their duties. He assigned the Information Affairs Authority to coordinate with various media and ministries regarding this issue. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa listed leased government schools and evaluated three construction state. The Cabinet was briefed on the results of the evaluation, which stated that only three schools out of 209 meet their share of comprehensive maintenance and are in good constructional state. The Cabinet reviewed the positive results and the clear improvement in the collection of outstanding water and electricity dues and in the reduction of water loss. The Cabinet approved the mechanism suggested by the Secretariat General of the Gulf Cooperation Council to accelerate the ratification of laws, regulations and agreements adopted by the Supreme Council of the GCC. The necessary measures to ratify the two amended protocols of the International Civil Aviation Agreement were approved and it was decided to refer the submitted memorandum from the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs. The Cabinet was briefed on the results of the sixth meeting of the Joint Turkish Bahraini Committee that was held recently in Ankara and took note of the agreements reached in the fields of inter-regional trade, the financial and banking sectors, housing, infrastructure and the industrial sector. The Cabinet approved a draft law on ratifying an agreement between the Bahraini and US governments to improve international tax compliance and applying the Foreign Accounts Tax Compliance Act, that's FATCA. The Cabinet referred two draft laws to the Council of Representatives regarding the amendment of Article 4 of the Office of Financial and Administrative Control Law and the amendment of some provisions of Law 62 of 2006 on establishing and organising the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa arrived on an official visit today to the United Arab Emirates. The visit will include a bilateral meeting with the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE's Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, with a focus on bolstering collaboration and cooperation between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince was received by the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE's Armed Forces. 
His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Presidential Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Senior Emirati Ministers and Officials, the Ambassadors of Bahrain to the UAE and the Ambassador of the UAE to Bahrain. His Royal Highness was accompanied by the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa and a number of ministers and officials. The Crown Prince expressed pleasure in the visit as it reflects the long-standing and deep ties between Bahrain and the UAE. He confirmed that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has and continues to play a pivotal role in fostering and strengthening bilateral ties and cooperation with the UAE and GCC partners. He stressed Bahrain's commitment to further supporting intra-regional collaboration to help achieve long-term prosperity and opportunities across the region. His Royal Highness highlighted the UAE's achievements in advancing development which continues to receive international and regional recognition. The Bahraini delegation accompanying His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also includes Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Minister of Finance, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Rashid Al Zayani, Sheikh Hamid bin Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the President of the Court of the Crown Prince, Sheikh Khalifa bin Burj Al Khalifa, the Private Secretary to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, Director General of the First Deputy Prime Minister's Office, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Chief Executive Officer of the Bahrain Economic Development Board, the EDB, Khalid Al Rumehi, the Advisor of Information Affairs at the Court of the Crown Prince, Isa Al Hamadi, and the Executive Director of Protocol at the Court of the Crown Prince, Esam Al Jassan. The Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates enjoy decades-long historic relations that flourished thanks to the outstanding brotherly ties between the two countries' leaderships and people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the UAE President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan support bilateral relations and joint cooperation within the framework of the Gulf Cooperation Council. The official visit of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the United Arab Emirates today is set to further boost ties in all fields. The leaderships of the two countries believe in the importance of exchanging official visits which contributes heavily in promoting relations not only in the political field but also in the social, economic and security aspects. The UAE had a pivotal role with a strong participation within the Peninsula Shield Forces to preserve security and vital facilities in Bahrain in 2011, which confirmed its support to Bahrain's leadership amid the terrorist events that it was witnessing. Bahrain, meanwhile, also shows its stance by its support to the Emirates in restoring the sovereignty of the three occupied islands of Abu Musa and the Greater al Asr Tunab, and its backing to UAE's stance to resolve the issue either through direct negotiations or through the International Court of Justice. Economically, commercial exchange between Bahrain and the UAE reached around 1 billion Bahraini dinars that include 396 million of re-export value, 
280 billion Bahraini dinars of Bahraini exports and 256 million Bahraini dinars of imports. 40 Emirati companies and companies' branches are registered and working in Bahrain, and the value of Emirati investment projects in the kingdom is almost 3 billion Bahraini dinars. Cooperation in the social, education and cultural field is also expanding, which confirms that relations of friendship and coordination will continue with the strong support of the two countries' leaderships and people. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of Bahraini athlete Yunis Kerwa's first place win in Japan's ladies marathon race. He affirmed that this accomplishment is due to the unlimited support of His Majesty to the youth and sports sector. His Highness also congratulated His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which affirms the efforts exerted by the government to improve this field at an international level. He praised the efforts of the personal representative of His Majesty the King for charity work in youth affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praising the role of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in achieving and his support towards the sports sector in the kingdom. He expressed pride in this achievement and wished Eunice Kerwa's success in upcoming events, affirming his keenness to continue the support to make further achievements for the kingdom. Asked by His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, Royal Court Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa began consultations to nominate commissioners in the National Institution of Human Rights, that's the NIHR board, for who must satisfy the preset terms and conditions. This comes in compliance with Royal Order 17 of 2017, issued by His Majesty the King, that specified the terms and conditions for appointment of members in NIHR. Our board of Commissioners as per latest amendment on the law for establishment of the National Institution of Human Rights. All the nominees should collectively have an ostensible effort in serving the community, boosting and protecting human rights with a local, regional and global proven track record of activities in this field as well as keenness on pro rata representation of women and minorities. The National Guard Commander, His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, received at the National Guard headquarters in Sakhir today the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee of Pakistan, General Zubir Mahmoud Hayat, and his accompanying delegation, who are currently visiting the country. Following Pakistan's national anthem, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed met with the Pakistani delegation and commended the development of Bahraini Pakistani relations in various fields. The meeting also reviewed ways to develop military cooperation between the National Guard and the Pakistani Army. The chairman of the GCSC was briefed on the duties of the National Guard and the development of its military and administrative units due to the support of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. The two parties then held official talks in the presence of the National Guard's Director of Staff, Major General Abdulaziz bin Saud Al Khalifa, a number of senior officers of the National Guard and Pakistan's ambassador to Bahrain. The chairman of the GCSC then toured the Museum of Weapons and signed the guest book. The National Guard commander held a lunch banquet in honour of the chairman of the GCSC, which was attended by the Pakistani delegation and a number of National Guard members.
Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, Global Award for Women's Empowerment, will be officially announced today at the United Nations headquarters in New York. Bahrain will attend today the 61st session of the Commission on the Status of Women at the United Nations headquarters in New York, the USA. Foreign Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa will address the UN panel on behalf of Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim. The SCW Secretary General Hala Al Ansari will also deliver the address of the Arab group Manama Declaration at the inaugural session, an unprecedented event at the Arab level. A memorandum of understanding will also be signed by the Supreme Council for Women and the United Nations Women. The global launch of this award is a result of the efforts of the Council to highlight achievements that reflect the progress of the status of women at the national level, as well as publicising best practice that are active in enhancing the status of women globally in an effort to achieve development goals related to achieving gender equality. The award aims to ensure the commitment of countries, official agencies and organisations through the legislative, public and private executive authorities and civil society in addition to individuals to adopt non-discriminatory policies against women. The opportunity to compete for the award is open to public, private and civil society institutions ind and individuals across the globe. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdallah and let's start with the local stocks as the Bahrain All Shares Index closed at 1,370.84 points, marking an increase of 4.84 points above the previous closing. The increase was in the investment and industrial sectors and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 57% of the total shares. 75, 75 transactions included 2,790,084 shares worth 928,494 Bahraini dinars. Gulf Air, Bahrain's national area, was recently awarded Information Technology ISO certification by Beer Veritas, a global leader in testing, inspection and certification. The ISO certification was awarded to Gulf Air in the seven areas of quality management, environmental management, service management, business continuity management, information security management, energy management and asset management, making it the first airline in the world to achieve seven ISO certificates in information technology. Gulf Air first initiated the compliance and certifications exercise in 2013 and has continuously added more management systems in the governance framework to date. 